Hey, there you are. Welcome back to my channel. You know what time it is. Did a base face because I'm going to try. Ah, uh, this feels so good. Really appreciate you guys being here to help me moisturize my dry ass lips. I'm going to try for the first time the Nabla Platinum Cutie Palette. And this is what this looks like. So I already did. Does this go all the way back? It could, but I don't think it's supposed to. <laughs> so this is what this looks like. So we're going to prime the eye. And I'm going to blend it out with a brush. This palette seems to only have two mattes. This one and this one. And so I'm hoping these other shades don't have a lot of fallout because I've already done my base face. We're going to take this shade here and we're going to put that in our crease. Well, actually, above my crease, which I just call crease. So we're going to sweep that over lightly. Ooh, look at that. I didn't mean for that to happen already. We will add more of this later. Right now I'm just laying it down. And right, we're going to, I'm scared to, but I'm going to take this shade and put it as my inner corner highlight. It looks very frosty. I'm hoping these shades, I already said it, don't have a lot of fallout. That's very frosty. I like that. We're going to take this shade here and put that somewhere. We're going to take this shade here with the clean brush. Put that on the outer corner. The crease brush, no additional color. This brush has no color on it at all. I'm just going to finish buffing out the crease shade. We're not going to do a brow bone highlight. We're going to take this shade here underneath the lower lash line. We're going to take this on the inner corner of the lower lash line. This brush, which is clean, it has nothing on it. And so that is the look. I do have some fallout here from that first shade. Oh, I see fallout on my face. This is just a clean brush, and so I'm just, whatever I think may be coming off, I'm just wiping it off, which is weird because I have a cloth right here, so I should be doing it that way. So this is the look. I am going to put on mascara. I'm not going to do anything on inner rims. I'm also going to do eyeliner, and I will actually, I'm going to use this shade for eyeliner. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. <laughs> this is also in the surprise haul package that I received. I do like the mascara, but for me, the wand does feel a little flimsy. I like the shape of the wand, the design of the wand. I just wish it was a little more stiff. I'm only going to do one coat because it does get clumpy. The brush being flimsy makes it difficult for me to start at the base and then rotate the brush as I go up my lashes. It's challenging to do that because instead of turning easily, the brush just flexes. I hope that made sense. And if you do see clumps, just turn your brush this way and just spike it and that'll remove the clumps out of it. Be careful not to poke yourself in the eye. I'm also realizing now this is a wet mascara. This is my second time using it. After I did this eye, when I was about to do this one, when I blinked, I could feel my lashes sticking together, my upper and lower lashes sticking together. And that may be why it clumps if you try to do more than one coat. I have fallout on my face. But that is okay. It's going to stay there. I do like the mascara. I like the look I did with the palette. The only shade we did not use was this one right here. And I could have used that for inner corner. 
first is this one but i like i like this one like it's very frosty as you can see and i do kind of want to put this on in a corner but i do not want to deal with any more fallout um but i will use this palette again and i think oh my gosh And I think I, I may just use like two shadows, like put this in the crease or this on the lid and then this on the outer corner, which is three colors, not two. So I may just do something where I'm not using five shades and we'll see. I do like that it was not a lot of fallout. I was being as careful as I know how to in applying the shadows. I do like the look. And so thank you again, friend, for sending me these gifts. And if you guys have the Platinum Nabla Cutie Palette, let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know how it's working out for you. If you have the Sky High Mascara, let me know about that. And I forgot something. Taking off my chapstick. This is a lip pencil. Gonna line our lips. And fill them in. And we're gonna take, which was also in my surprise gift haul package, um, one of the Kat Von D glosses, and this is this color. There we go. This is the finished look. I like it. Do you like it? What do you think? Hey, I'm back. I didn't expect to be, but here I am. I did this face about 4 o'clock. It is now 10.30. I wanted to talk about this KVD lip cream that I put on earlier, and I might have called it a gloss. It's a lip cream. And I had mentioned earlier, <laughs> I lined and filled in my lips with one of Wayne Goss's lip liners, and then I put the lip cream on top of it. I noticed within about 30 minutes, my lips were feeling super dry. I don't know if it was the combination of the lip liner and putting this lip cream on top or not. I don't know. Um, it was borderline uncomfortable because I could feel that my lips were dry and where I went was an hour away. So I'm in the car and I'm singing, I'm rapping along and I can feel, it felt like my lips were cracking. And... <laughs> It just felt weird. So I just wanted to say that about this. Again, I don't know if it was the combination of the two or if this is just a lip cream that just dries. But I'm definitely going to try these two without a lip liner and see how my lips feel. A review for the Maybelline Sky Have Mascara. <laughs> Again, I had this face on for about six and a half hours. No flaking know anything and i do really like it i just wish the wand was a little more stiff other than that my lashes did not fall i do not wear falsies um so it looks like it did when i put them on which is good and no flaking is also really good because i don't need anything falling into my eyeballs especially when i'm wearing contacts like i did today and so that's all i wanted to come back and say a quick review for this lip cream and the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And also for you guys to see how this eye look with the Platinum Nabla Cutie Palette held up. Which it held up pretty good. I am going to do another look with this using different colors. Because in person I can see the gradient of the colors on my lid. But when I looked at the pictures it looks like it's just one color on the lid. Well mine is the inner corner color. So it seems like these two colors just kind of blended into each other and so I'm going to do a look to try to get it to be more distinct with the color variations and we'll see what happens with that I do like this palette though I really do like the mascara I also like um, the other items that she sent in my care package the Maybelline News of New York the foundation broke me out so I ended up not being able to keep that so I'm sorry friend but my face it didn't accept it. I'm sorry. But these other products I, I'm really enjoying. I'm going to keep playing around with the lip creams. I do like the colors. If 
The other ones are drying, like the one I wore today. I will just put it on top of chapstick <laughs> because I do like the colors. And so that's what we're going to do. So I am still going to use those products. And so thank you, friend, and thank you all for watching. And you will see me in the next video, not an extension of this one, like I did. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.